there's talk that the Detroit uh, Tom Gores and the you know, Detroit Pistons organization wants to bring back the shot. Um, then they moved to like Vegas and then they turned into another team. I can't remember, but I don't even remember that when they left. But um, Kalen Clark is good for business. I say that. And a lot of the uh, a lot of the sisters that uh, a lot of the sisters that uh, in the WNBA they want to go out there and prove differently. Unfortunately, they want to go out there and, and they want to brutalize her. You know, they jealous and, and women are jealous creatures. I mean, that, it is what it is. They're the biggest haters around. And you know, they gunning for her. They gunning for Andrew Reese. But she good for business. In my opinion, they should let her fucking win. They they get more money, but they look at it from they look at it from a standpoint of jealousy. But before she came, they really wasn't trying to push no expansion. You know what I'm saying? And she's a phenomenal basketball player. She just on a shitty team. That Aisha Boston girl is trash. Who went from uh, South Carolina the previous year, where they lost in the nat did they lose the national championship the previous year? She trash. Then they got the year before Boston got there in Indiana. They got uh, I think a number two pick overall. She ain't doing shit. So it's a bad basketball team. People do realize the worst player, the best player, go to the worst basketball team. Even in the WNBA, and you know, well, it's only not that many teams. So it's unfortunate that you know. But, you know, it's unfortunate that they, they treat her that way. But I will say, they're more competitive than the men. The men are all friends and hugging even after a, a game seven, a playoff championship. They all look, man, I want to see somebody get punched. I want to see somebody get cussed. Like, I used to, I grew up in the era, the Knicks, Heat, you know, Knicks, Bulls. You know, I grew up in that era. Come on now, bro. Why are you driving like a dick? I don't even really understand this. Don't be going nowhere. Well, I grew up in that area in the WNBA. That passion that they got towards them young girls. It's the Kaylin Clark is the best thing that happened to the WNBA. I heard Toronto got a team, and I think uh, you know uh, other people was complaining about not having a team. And Tom Gore said he wanted a team. I mean, honestly. Caitlin Clark is great for business. Nobody was talking about the W before Caitlin Clark. Let's, let's throw it on the floor. Nobody was talking about Angel Reese and the Cameron girl in LA. All, you know, both of them is beautiful. But uh, nobody was pushing, pushing for this, man. You got it, you know, it ain't her, it ain't like. You can't get mad who they preordained, bro. At one point, Sugar Ray Leonard in boxing was preordained. Mike Tyson was the preordained. So a lot of people always want to make it synonymous with color, and a lot of times it is. When you get an anomaly, when you get a white American superstar player in sports, it's a big deal. <laughs> you know, it's a big deal. In the UFC, in boxing, you know, in American football and soccer, it ain't been too many great, you know, sportsmen. White sportsmen no more superstars. Every time they look to hype somebody up, like a, a Gary Cooney, you know, a Rocky Marciano, which he was good, you know, like a Larry Bird. It even had Larry Bird lived, even when he retired, he got his credit. And people said Larry Legend was the truth. But it still was people like Rodman and other people felt the same way. They just didn't say it. He only getting his hype because he a white boy. He retired. He got his flowers. You know? Embrace it. And I feel like even if she was black, there would have been an issue. Yo, you know, Angel Reese, a beautiful girl. Nice, you know. But she comes with... She comes with that stigma of a, of a angry, arrogant black woman. 
that was that Tyler Berry movie, you know, stereotypical uh, diary of a mad black woman. That's 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 the perception. I hate to say it, that's the perception. You know, you go around a lot of the, a lot of the black women are not approachable in America. You know, they look angry, they look up, and that's just they resting face. They call it resting bitch face. They even call it that. You know, they confuse. They want to, you know, they sexualize themselves, and they wear these tight clothes, and then say you sexualize. I ain't got time for that. Caitlin Clark, you know, she don't have a sex appeal. We can all say that. If that's your type, oh, look, I'm not knocking whatsoever. But they all got to say, you know, you know, she don't have to say, but she is a guard. Guards will always get the shoe deals. Guards will always be the flashiest. That's why Shaquille O'Neal was jealous of Penny Hardaway, Dwayne Wade, and um, Kobe. He 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 soured those relationships with Penny and Kobe. But you know what? You want to hear about that? Let me know. I, I do the video on Goodfellow TV. He was jealous. He to tell you. He's a hating ass dude. But guards always get the cash. Guards always get the cash. They guards. This is why you got all these big fellas like Carthy Towns and Anthony uh, Anthony uh, Davis and Julius Randles. They want to play like guards. They but no matter how sweet they are, they're always a joke. Nicole Jokic, Joel Embiid, with Skechers, they'd never be Anthony Edwards and have a shoe like that. They'd never be Michael Jordan and have a shoe like that. They'll never have that cachet of, of appeal and have a shoes like that. Long story short, Caitlin, Caitlin Clark is the reason the NBA, WNBA is expanding. Um, I would love to see the Detroit shot come back. I would go down downtown Detroit now where you ain't got to make a, a field trip out to Pontiac or out to Arvin Hills to go see the pit. It used to be a field trip. You used to go out there, go to Great Lakes Crossing. You know, they got the Rainforest Cafe still out there, do some shopping, then go to the Pistons game or the shot game. That used to that used to be a freaking field field trip. <laughs> that used to be a field trip. Tell me I'm lying. Now you go downtown. I think they get a lot of a lot of love, man. I think expansion is good. And I think also for them, Kaylin Clark is good. If it just was about any old white girl, they would have been fine one. So embrace that shit, man. Y'all support support that, man. Y'all women support it first and foremost because they talk about how it's, it's always men fault. No matter how much uh, be, uh, be, uh, be, uh, be, uh, how great we are, how caring we are, it's always our fault. You know, y'all women start supporting and going to the WNBA games and looking, you know, looking good. Guys gonna come. Why do guys come to the club? Why do guys come to the club? Cause women are there. So if y'all start coming to WNBA games, shit, dude's gonna be at the, the, the box office buying y'all tickets and buying y'all drinks to WNBA games. Treat the WNBA games like the club. Even at the NBA, and I go to boxing events sometimes and you know different events, sport events, women be there looking for dudes. They do. They be in there looking for dudes, believe it or not, bro. Be a bunch of single mamas in there, bunch of single young single women, cougars, all of them be at the basketball, football games. I used to work them <laughs> looking for men, bro. You know, they thirsty. They been thirsty. This ain't no, uh, you know, last five years, man. This is about 10, 10, 12 years ago I worked down there. It been like that. So uh, check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Or check out the Detroit Current News playlist. Let me know what's in the comment section, Pete.